All right, guys, it's Con Expo 2020, baby. We have found the Volvo booth. Let's check this booger out. Alright guys, first and foremost, I am proud to say this video is sponsored by Volvo. But guys, don't worry, it don't matter how much they pay me, or how many incentives they give me, or how many free show tickets they slash in front of me, it's not going to keep me from giving, keep me from giving you guys my honest opinion about everything I see here at the show. But without your guys' support, this would not be possible. So thank you guys for supporting the channel, and I am humbled and honored that Volvo gave me the opportunity to showcase some of their equipment here at Con Expo. All right, guys, I'm just lucky enough to be one of the few YouTubers selected by Volvo to showcase their equipment here at Con Expo 2020. So if you want a different look, a different version, a different thought process on some of the equipment you see here, be sure you go check out their channels as well. They will also be posting videos. Cotton Top 3, Let's Dig 18, and the one and only Logger Wade. But before we get too far into this, we should probably talk about the elephant in the room or the elephant in the show. And I am not talking about the brand new 950F. Yes, I said 950F series. Uh, and that was Volvo's decision to uh, pull all their employees away from the show here with the uh, coronavirus scare uh, we have going on currently. And guys, we can debate whether that was a good decision or right decision. Uh, but they made the best decision they could with the information they had on hand. And uh, you can't fault anybody anybody for safety. We may not know if it's a good decision or a bad decision for a while, but that's not going to stop us from going around this booth and checking out all of the amazing equipment they have here for us to look at. I'm so excited I can't hardly stand it. Let's do this. All right guys, the first thing you see when you walk in here is Excavator Alley, <laughs> and it's it's impressive. I'm an excavator guy, you guys know that. But the uh, first thing that caught me out my eye was the uh, hybrid excavator here. And I wish there was somebody here to explain it to us. I don't fully understand it, but basically from what I've gathered, they're gaining, uh, they're taking the inertia of the boom and uh, reusing that energy to help power the machine and do different things. But uh, well, it actually looks like a pretty cool little simple setup. But I would say this is technology we're probably gonna be seeing more and more of. That kind of seems to be the uh, theme here at the show this year is electric and uh, hybrid style technologies. And they have this one, this one here on display. This is actually a EC, EC300. Uh, a little bit of basic information about it there if anybody wants to go online and uh, search and, and see what else they can find about it. But yeah, it's kind of cool. That's what's so cool about these trade shows is uh, some of these technologies are not even in the market yet. So you kind of get a little, little sneak peek of what's coming. But uh, this is one beautiful piece of iron. I would love to get my hands on one day. Check that out. ECR 335L. A little bit of a uh, little bit of what's going on with it, but uh, got the push blade on front of it. It's a short stick machine. We had to change a few options on it to make it work for us, but uh, man, oh man. One thing I've noticed with the Volvo I got is first off. There's a big debate whenever I bought mine about the push blade. And one thing Volvo has over any other manufacturer, and, and I've confirmed that here at the show, is the way they build their push blades is bar none. It is actually built to be what I'd consider a leveling blade. You can actually chalk yourself in the ground and hold it there. But the other thing that makes the push blade awesome is the way Volvo has their pedals configured in the cab. I wish I could get you a better shot of it, but their pedals are so easy to run. Uh, that, it, that it's not a pain to travel back and forth and use that blade so they really 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 uh, got that set up nice in the cab uh, that's probably one of the features i like about my volvo more than any of them is the cab once you sit down in that seat it uh you just feel like you're at home it is definitely comfy next machine in the list here is a ec750 hr demolition machine and wow wow check that girl out we have a little bit of rain here so some of that may be a little bit hard to read but <laughs> i know this is selfish don't judge me for it i want to test drive it i mean that would be who don't like destroying stuff 
Who don't like destroying stuff? It's a perfect machine fart. Very. It's it's hard to argue with the ball balls on their carriage and the way some of this stuff is built. You guys follow my channel much, you know that I appreciate simple, effective engineering. And you see a lot of it in this booth, which is one of the main reasons why I got one of these machines. I really, really, really like the way they, the thought process about how they go about doing some of these things. Just, uh, I don't know. Some of these guys think the way I think. I like that. We'll go out here and check out the head on the end of it. One thing that's so hard to show you guys on camera is the actual size. It's so hard to scale stuff. Everything here is so big and so impressive. It's hard to scale, but uh, I'd say that's a good close to six feet tall on the shear there. I believe this one has uh, like 110 feet of reach. Uh, don't quote me on that. I could be wrong, but if I'm wrong, I'm not wrong by much. It is uh, quite the impressive piece of machinery for sure. All right, guys, we'll walk up the ramp here and check out the uh, 950F. Check that out. You can get the cool shadow of me trying to video it because the sun's just right. That thing, that thing is a beast. Wowzers. I can't really tell you what all they've changed on it from the uh, the E models. I can definitely tell some of the styling's different the way you go about getting some, accessing some stuff up there. I'm sure there's a lot of other features that are different on it. I wish I could elaborate more on this. I can see that it only has 17 hours on it. 17 hours on that machine. Brand new machine. Look at it sitting there in the sun. One thing you can't take away from Volvo, and it has nothing to do with performance, but everybody likes to run a machine that looks good, and their styling and their paint schemes and all this equipment is just awesome. It's just awesome. It's kind of like a car. It's got to be practical, but you like for it to look good too. So uh, we've got the Volvo 100 ton haul truck. I'll see if I can find an information card down below one. I don't really have a whole lot other than uh, I know this has nothing to do with performance. But the grill on that thing is awesome. That thing just looks amazing from the front. That thing brings back some memories for me. For me. My dad used to work in the uh, coal mines for years, and the few times I got to go to work with him, we were uh, loading, loading haul trucks. So it's just uh, kind of a little bit of a walk down, walk down memory lane for me. Let's head down the ramp here and see what else we can find. There's the front of that haul truck. Check out that, check out that beauty. That is a good, that is a good looking nose on that thing. I think it's one of the few specifications. Hopefully you can read that. Uh, if not, I'm sure we can go, go Google and get you some more information, but uh, beautiful, absolutely beautiful. All right, guys and girls, the next thing on the list is the Volvo articulated haul trucks. These things are some real beauties and piece of work. A little bit of information there for you. I could be wrong in this statement, but I believe a lot of guys out there will, will agree with what I had to say. The Volvo haul truck is probably the thing that really put put Volvo in the uh, construction industry here in the United States. I've got a buddy that owns a heavy highway uh, construction company, and that's all they run. They swear by these trucks. They got old ones, they got new ones, and uh, they have treated them well over the years. That's that's the only thing they'll run. Of course, if you guys watch Logger Wade on the Axeman, he actually built one out. They call it Tiny. Got the big flotation tires on it. He don't have have a bad word to say about it. Uh, they kind of did some revamp on the suspension, or at least from what I'm familiar with. They've got an awesome display here, uh, showing how got the tires cut off. They make cool seats too if you want to sit on uh, whenever you're tired from walking around and want to rest. But uh, really cool how they got that tire cut away, so you can kind of see see everything going on there. But uh, man, it's a good looking truck. It's definitely a good looking truck. Of course, over here you got the uh, the 60 tonner. Pretty much the same platform. Everything's the same, just uh, just bigger, obviously. A couple of the specs they have have on that there. I 
ironically guys i don't know if it's a good thing or a bad thing but i have not spent a lot of seat time in a haul truck maybe we'll uh make that happen one day this one here has got what i would consider like the walking beam suspension on a little bit more of the conventional setup that i'm uh used to seeing on these trucks here got the center pivot there but uh man impressive 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 machines guy can only hope and dream right i'm in vegas maybe i should go bet on something it's about my only hope for getting one l 350h loader there's no way to <laughs> There's, there's no good way to show the size. A lot of sawmills back home are running the Volvo loaders. Uh, having excellent luck out of them. Really, really liking them. I just like some of the simple common sense design features on them. Uh, for example, just keeping everything tucked in here and out of the way. Let's face it guys, not all operators are created equal. Some guys are a little rough on machines, so the more you can hedge your bet, and uh, keep stuff simple, tucked away, keep it from getting snagged. Uh, sometimes it pays off in the long run. I never get the guy that owns the machine and has to uh, has to maintain it. So a guy like me, being an owner operator, appreciates some of those uh, simple little design features that uh, they, they do make a difference. They really do make a difference. The last thing you want to happen is to be shut down over a wiring harness, getting caught on a stick or a piece of mud or something, and. Uh, having downtime for something really simple that just could have been placed a little different and uh possibly prevented that from happening but uh oh man it's killing me i want a set of keys i want to get in there i want to run something all right guys we found the uh paving section here pavers rollers now you guys watch my channel you know i know nothing about paving but i do have one video of paving a county road and they were actually using a volvo paper in that and that's my brother-in-law's crew and they recently just switched papers to another manufacturer and we were talking the other day about how they're missing their volvo paper i don't know a whole lot about it i can't give you a lot of specifics on it but uh he had great things to say about it and i think they're actually looking at uh looking at going back but yeah looks good to me we'll go with that roller will go along with it once you lay her down you gotta lay her out right <laughs> trying to film glass is not working too well i'm trying to get you some oh maybe if we go to the right side that'll help just got a quick little display about the different uh, roller configurations they got and then you also got uh, the three different papers they got there all right we cannot buzz out of here without checking out the gold rush excavator now this thing just recently sold at uh, Ritchie Brothers in Orlando Florida I believe uh, correct me if I'm wrong in the comments I believe it sold for around two hundred and ninety thousand dollars I think most of that is gonna go or if not all of it is gonna end up going to charity so that's an awesome thing Volvo did for did for publicity and did for some charities it's uh man I it's just I filming this thing don't do it any good it don't do it any justice it's pretty cool seeing it all done up gold bucket on it there's some of the specifications on in that I actually got to see this thing in Florida before it went on the auction block it was uh pretty cool it's got the gold levers inside and i don't know if what you may not be able to see is it's got everybody's signatures there on the seat so, pretty cool pretty cool all right guys unfortunately with the situation we had a couple big unveils that didn't didn't happen but as i was saying before everything's kind of going the uh electric route uh several manufacturers here at the expo have released different electric electric versions of different machines and Volvo is no different they got a mini excavator here and a L25 electric loader one thing I noticed about the Volvo machines versus all the other ones is they still seem to be on the same size platform some of the other manufacturers have you know uh, had to adjust to make different room for batteries and stuff like that those seem to be uh, identical to their uh, diesel fuel counterparts 
Not for sure. I wish I had more specifics on that. Uh, not for sure what all's going on there, but that's just one thing I've noticed. Uh, noticed walking around and it makes a little different than the uh, different than the other ones. All right, guys, for you guys that don't know, uh, if you follow me, you probably do know, but I used to work for Mac. I worked for Mac for a couple years at a Mac truck dealership. I was actually working there whenever Volvo bought them out. There was a lot of uncertainty at the time about whether that was going to be a good move or a bad move. And knowing what I know now, several years later, Volvo buying out Mack trucks is one of the best, best things that ever happened to that company. Uh, and I've become a believer in these trucks over the years, and I wouldn't hesitate to own one at all. They... Uh, they are top notch for price point is the best way i know to describe it they build a very very nice reliable affordable truck that's easy to service easy to maintain uh you know with them partnering with mac and increased their dealer network years ago and it's just it was it was a good move so i i cannot knock a bullet hole in a volvo truck to be honest with you, you know farmer chris runs uh i think it's a 2006 2007 model and uh he's got along with a great i know a lot of other people have got along with it a great too uh chris aders that uh, you see in some of my videos uh, aders trucking they just bought three brand new 2020 volvo dump trucks and uh, they're loving them having great success out of them all right guys that's a wrap hope you enjoyed the walk around the booth and uh, a couple of my random thoughts of the awesome machinery here on display uh thank you guys for making this possible thank volvo for giving me the opportunity as always don't forget to like subscribe and comment and guys we'll catch you on the next one we're gonna go check out the rest of this awesome show